to be anywhere. Thank you. Wow, apparently it's Taliban night. Nobody told me. Booga booga ga ga ga. It's going to be a long show for one of us. I've been entertaining the troops for 17 years. I go over a couple times a year. I consider it an honor and a privilege, but I've got to be honest, sometimes I think my agent sucks. Las Vegas, Royal Caribbean, Afghanistan, one of these things is not like the other. Before I left the country, I had to get vaccinated. I had to get 14 different shots for all the germ warfare. 14 shots, which means I can eat worry-free in any Denny's for the next 20 years. They said once I was anthrax. I don't know anything about the germ warfare. All I know is when somebody used to send me an unmarked envelope with white powder in it, my weekend was pretty much set. There's more on that joke on the late night show. <laughs> I got to do what's called a tail hook landing. We landed on an aircraft carrier, a ship uh, much uh, unlike this. Uh, we fly in at full speed and go to zero in about two and a half seconds. I then saw my spleen shot in my mouth, snap back, and I now have a tail. <laughs> and some dirty drawers, too. Speaking of clothes, I got a brand new suit for the show. Is in some luggage right outside my door. Did you get the free clothes? They're... Right? The sundress didn't fit at all. <laughs> this is a beautiful ship, too, man. Uh, I think uh, you heard our captain earlier, Captain Per Kirk Hagen Hagen Doss or whatever the hell is. <laughs> Dude speaks five languages. I barely speak English. I don't know what he's talking about. He sounds like the Keebler. <laughs> Dude, is the ship going down? Are we making cookies in the treehouse? I was teasing with the accent. If it doesn't work out as captain, he could always run for the governor of California. <laughs> Thanks for laughing, and thank God he has a sense of humor. You'd see me after the show. Where are you guys going? I did grow up in Los Angeles. Uh, I got fed up with the fake people and the broken dreams, so I moved to Las Vegas. Which joke are you on? <laughs> I can already tell it's going to be an awesome week, man, because either you guys are, yeah, or, ah, uh, uh, which way did he go? I hope on the ship you go around and meet people. Stick your hand out or stick your elbow out. Make some friends. Talk to people. We have people from all around the planet. I love that. Celebrate your heritage and culture. Me, I'm American Trailer Trash, and yeah, TT in the house, what's up, <laughs> that's a double Y, that's a double Y, oh yeah, I know I got a couple of my people, double Y, Hercules, Hercules, double Y, that means he's got a dryer, <sighs> inside the house. We were poor growing up. I just saw my mom, who turned 65 last month. I think that's great, because the last couple of years, she's been using a fake ID to get the senior citizens discount everywhere. We go to the movie, she forgets her wallet. It's like, I forgot my ID. Tell my your grandma, give me the discount. Come on. Hook me up. No way, playa. When I was a little boy, you never buy me beer. <laughs> Two, and the lady is under age. Of course, my mom's trying to fake it. No, I'm not. <laughs> cool, you laugh first, all right? You can make a joke about your mom. That is legal. You just cannot talk back to your mom because your moms give birth and there's not a card in the deck of life you can draw in the, against the birth card, right? You could challenge, you could bluff or go fish, but the guilt card will always flip and that is a full house of pain, my brother. <laughs> right? You best respect your mom, okay? So my mom calls me up for a ride, and I had a touch of that hangover that was going around. <laughs> cool, stay with me, because this is where I get Scooby Head from most crowds. Like, bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> I sass my mom, and I get that mom's speech. Whatever your native language is, it is the same translation. Don't talk to me like that. I'm your mother. I brought you into this world, and wow, <laughs> I didn't realize we're all related. My whole life, I brought you into this world and I could take you out. 
Well, I'm tired of her talking her trash. So I'm like, step up. <laughs> and she did. She took me two out of three falls, too. Which I stepped on her oxygen tube and slowed her up a little bit. Again, some of you are laughing and some of you are looking at me like I'm last picking gym class right now. A couple of moms rolling their sleeves. Well, if your mother's not here to represent, I believe I packed a can of whoop. I'm not a fighter at all, right? I had four older sisters. We were poor. I got a lot of hand-me-down dresses. And, oh, ha-ha, now you laugh. I was getting my butt whooped at school. Stop it. You dirtied my kudlaw. I gotta change it to my fighting score tonight. I'm coming right back. My, I wish I wasn't making that joke up. My sisters made me dance with them, so for a guy, I'm a pretty good dancer. I'm not great like the professionals you're gonna see in these awesome production numbers, but I can dance. In high school, I didn't know any better, so I took a dance class, but I was the only boy in the class. And the guys on the football team would teach me, like, dude, what are you queer taking dance? <laughs> I'm like, dude, lighten up. There are 40 girls in spandex and me, or 300 sweaty guys on the football team with their hands in each other's crotch. Who's in the closet now, Bubba? <laughs> Thanks, I was the homecoming pinata that year. Oh. I tried to overcompensate, so I joined the ice hockey team in my neighborhood, but I hardly played because I couldn't afford equipment. I didn't even have a cup, so my mom took an old Tupperware bowl and shoved it down my shorts. <laughs> oh, you laugh. It worked. I got hit there once and it burped. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever stole my lunch again. <laughs> I'm not just eye candy up here, folks. You know what it is? It, they say that pain plus time equals funny. Like, all my material comes out of true life. And it started with my grandfather. Because he always tried to lighten up our financial instability with practical jokes. Like, for Christmas one year, I wanted that stupid slinky toy. And we couldn't even afford that. So he goes out to the shed, cuts out a bed spring, and wraps it up. <laughs> Folks, we lived in the trailer. We didn't even have stairs. <laughs> Thank you. For the rest of you... Christmas morning, I'm on the curb, slink, slink. Oh, I got my grandfather back. I shortened the left side of his walker. <laughs> hey, Gramps, time for dinner. Right on out. What the? Oh, you. And they said I'd never use geometry. <laughs> I only got a few minutes with you guys. Uh, I'll be doing a late night show in a couple nights. Totally different show. Uh, it's the cable version of my act. It's adult. It's not nasty, but it's definitely the cable version. Um, what I do love about being an entertainer on the shift, I see people walking around and laughing and talking to people. What you guys laugh at tells us a lot about your life. Not too funny now, is it, man? <laughs> See, first dates at a comedy show are, are weird because you won't laugh at a dirty joke. Or if you're with your relatives you might not have seen for a while, if something freaky is told on stage, you don't want to laugh and flip that freak reference card over. <laughs> that nervous laughter right there. You're like, ah, 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 I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even speak English. A married couple, totally different story. You spot a married man at 50 paces, because he's usually the guy slumped in his chair. His spine has been sucked out of his brain. Oh, yeah, one vertebra for every year he's done his time. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Sir, you've done some hard time, haven't you? <laughs> you just kind of look at me like, I used to have an opinion. <laughs> I'm not here to pick on you. What is your name, sir? Your name is Charlie. You had to think about that for a moment. <laughs> nice to meet you, Charlie. How long have you been married? Is this Mrs. Charlie? It is. How long have you been married, Charlie? Your new date. Hey, sweet. Tiger? <laughs> Folks, you've got to work with me on a couple of these. You're going to get married soon. 
Well, thank you for putting an abrupt halt to the show, Charlie. <laughs> it's my fault. I picked him. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys are so cute together because you're like, I'm going to get him. Uh, Mrs. Charlie, how long have you been married? 38. 38 years? Yeah. Uh, God bless you. I, I understand why he has no idea what he's talking about at this point. <laughs> 38 years, I can't even imagine what that's got to be like. You're still here. <laughs> See, I don't, don't misunderstand. I think being in love is awesome, but the whole spinal disintegration process of a man begins when a woman says, I love you. We don't get it. It's like catching a deer in the headlights. A woman goes, I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, click. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Mongo like fire. <laughs> you can't make a decision when you first fall in love. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh, I just want to be with you. Because <laughs> I love you. <laughs> well, making you happy makes me happy. We'll do it. You need it. Because I want to do it. You need it. You need it. I want to do it. Checkmate. What do you want to do? Unless you've been married for a while. What do you want to do? Okay, you leave? Oh, look who's laughing a little harder now. I got my eye on you. I'll be honest, I was married once before. That didn't work out. I realized we were having a few problems when my wife started dating again. Well, <laughs> oh, you laugh like you know her. We had a mixed relationship. I'm a Christian, and she was the Antichrist. And I'm trying to cuddle. She's eating a live goat. Red drum, red drum. Ah. I should have known when she didn't show up in any of the wedding photos. <laughs> Every picture, I look like a bad mime. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I think being married is awesome. I'm back in the game. Click, click. <laughs> I think a man gets married to show his love to a woman. It's not our day. It's what we do to show you how much we love you. I mean, we don't grow up as young boys flipping through modern groom magazine collections. Oh, someday I'm going to get a rental tux and it'll be the best day of my life. I hope we get a register at Bed Bath & Beyond. No, forget the truck and the TV. We need new linen. Something with a high thread count because anything under 300 Egyptian cod makes my boom boom go a chafe chafe. It's a woman's day, a woman to buy a dress. You keep the dress. You give your dress to your daughter or son, depending on where you live. <laughs> Look at a wedding video. Slow it down. I've seen women trip other women and fight over the flower bouquet. That's like a female Heisman Trophy Award. <laughs> you throw a garter belt to a group of single men, it's like a live grenade catching contest. <laughs> garter toss. Here we go. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Don't touch it with your hand. 